The broadcasting joint body of Niger do hold itself the second annual general meeting, and their host now TVC Communications inside Lagos. The stakeholders when they say they present the matter on top of the matter, they don't say they don't shook man for waiting to take complete the matter from analog to digital broadcasting. Our talk talk person Irene Obani, he did there to announce the matter. The Broadcasting Organizations of Nigeria, which is a coalition of both the private and public broadcast organizations, which must be duly registered by the Corporate Affairs Commission, hosted its annual general conference at TVC Communications. Now, the major conversations which were held is the movement from analog to digital, how ready is Nigeria for this movement, also the utilization of our ultra-high frequency. As you know, one of the benefits of the switchover is what they call dividend one and dividend two. There's a dividend to gain, and that dividend is the sale or the harvesting of television spectrum, which is being used now. If we switch over, those spectrum will be transferred to telcos who use it for triple play. The spectrum used by NTA today is costing NTA 500 million naira. Let's say if the NTA they reach that 700 megahertz they are using, just eight meg of it. Somebody will buy it for 32 billion. So you just understand what I'm talking about. So why don't government switch over and withdraw this spectrum and sell them and fund the economy? The federal government needs to fund the NBC to go through the process to implement this digital switchover. Like I said earlier, for every one frequency on UHF, we can save, we, we can get six digital channels. So not only are we saving money on, 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 on the bandwidth, we're getting more channels on board, more entrance into, more entrance into the in industry, you get more players there. And that's why the whole process needs to begin. There's an opportunity to do some really great things by digitizing, and the digital program is, is started, but it needs to accelerate. And when it accelerates, you'll see, I think you'll see some really big benefits out of that. You'll see benefits in terms of the number of channels that will be available. You'll see benefits in the quality of program that will be available. So yeah, I think Bon is leading the charge and is on the right road. High definition will be the next thing that becomes, uh, becomes a big thing. And then as that settles down, you get a lot of programs in high definition. Ultra high definition will follow on after that. Everything is there to do it. The platform is there to do it. It's just got to accelerate. For Plus TV Africa, Irene Ubani.